Hello everyone, I am Marlon Ceballos. In this video, I'm going to show you how we can generate a full image inside Adobe Photoshop using Adobe Firefly's generative image engine. Bear in mind, Photoshop has had certain functions for some time now that are based on Adobe Firefly's engine. However, these functions rely on the engine's first version, which has some limitations, primarily lower quality and a maximum size of 1024 by 1024. The function I will be showing you today is quite interesting since it is the first function within Photoshop to use the second version of the Firefly engine. This engine provides greater image detail and also allows for larger maximum sizes, 2048 by 2048 pixels. I am currently in Photoshop. It's important to note that the function I am about to show you is only available at the time of recording this video, which is January 10th in a beta version of Photoshop. It is not yet available in the final version. If you desire to use this feature or function, you need to download the beta version. To do so, head to the Credit Cloud desktop application and look for an area labeled Beta Apps or Beta Applications. Here, you will find the Photoshop Beta application. This button currently says Open because I have already installed this beta version. If you haven't installed it, then click on the Install button. After you have installed the application and opened it, you will find an interface very similar to the non-beta or final application. Under the Edit menu, you will find a command labeled Generate Fill. This command is already found in previous versions of Photoshop without the need for the beta version. The command we are going to use in this video is labeled Generate Image. Of course, if this function is already included in the final version of Photoshop at the time you are watching this tutorial, there is no need for you to install the beta version. Currently, this function is grayed out just like these other functions. This is specifically because we need to have an open document where the image's creation is going to take place. So, I am going to use the command keyboard shortcut N or Control N. I will use this preset of 1920 by 1080. I click on the Create button and here we have a blank document. This document simply contains a background layer. Now, under the Edit menu, note that we already have the Generate Image command enabled. We cannot use the Generate Fill function in this case because that function requires a selection. We can, however, use this Generate Image command. Why? Because this Generate Image command doesn't generate small segments of the image, but rather a complete image. That's why it isn't necessary to select anything. Then, I select the command and the Generate Image window opens. Something important to remember is that this is a preliminary version of this function, which is why it is in the beta version. Because of this, it's highly likely that the interface of this window will continue to change and Adobe may add features or modify the features that we are currently looking at. So, in this box, we have the prompt window or instructions, which is very similar to the box found within the Firefly web interface. We also have an option called prompt inspiration. Here we have some example images, and if we select one of these images, note that the prompt that generated this image is now written inside this box. We have the Generate button similar to what we find within the Firefly web interface, where if we click, we generate the image from this prompt that we have in the box. Further below, we can define the type of content, whether it is art, illustration, forum, or photography. Then we have different styles. All of this is available inside the window. From the web version of Firefly. The problem is the reverse. 
there are some features available in the web version of Firefly that are not yet available in this Photoshop window, but they will surely be available later. I am going to delete this prompt that was generated when I clicked on any of these example images, and I am going to paste a prompt that I have already prepared. The prompt is a painting of a woman in a red dress sitting on a chair in the middle of the beach. It's done in a Baroque style with a long shot taken during the golden hour. Well, after using the prompt or instruction, we simply click on the generate button and wait for the generation process to carry out from that prompt or instruction. Finally, here we have the image generated within the properties panel. We can see the three versions that are generated from that prompt. This is the first version, the second version, and the third version. I like them all. I am going to select the second version. And if I check the layers panel, then here we have a layer that is a generative layer. It's a special layer because when we select that layer from the properties panel, I will be able to see the versions that were generated from that prompt and also see the prompt. In fact, I can generate more versions if I need to by clicking on this generate button again. In fact, in this box, we can make modifications to that prompt. We can add elements, remove elements, or totally replace that prompt. And if we click on this button that is on the left side of the generate button, notice that we have options again similar to the options that we find in the web version of Firefly. Then again, we can choose the illustration or photo option. We can choose the different styles, for example, if I select the popular option here, then we can choose styles that are part of this section. Further down, we have the tone and color, lighting, and composition options. We can then choose those options from this drop-down menu. Something important to keep in mind is that we must remember that the maximum size of the images generated by these functions based on Firefly version 2 is 2048 by 2048. For this reason, ideally, the document where we are going to create this image should have a maximum of that size. If we use a larger document size to create these images using this function, then an interpolation effect will be generated, and that may cause the quality of these images to not be the best. This then is the new feature that allows me to generate images within Photoshop using the Firefly engine. Remember that as of today, the 10th of January 2023, this function is only available within the beta version of Photoshop. I hope you liked this video. If you liked it, click like, consider subscribing to the channel and see you in the next video.